This is Dylan from the Ski Monster, and we're going to go over how to adjust your Solomon Warden bindings. First thing we're going to go over is forward pressure. The screw on the back of the binding is where we're going to identify if it's done correctly. We want this to be flush with the binding when the boot is engaged. So let's engage the boot and see where we're at. So clearly the screw is sticking out, which indicates it's too loose. Therefore, we need to increase forward pressure. We're going to take a Phillips head screwdriver. We're going to rotate clockwise until the screw looks flush. Once we think it's there, we're going to disengage the boot, re-engage, and see where things end up. A quick test with the finger. Flush shows perfect forward pressure. Just an example of what too tight looks like. If the screw is hidden inside of the binding, that's going to be too much forward pressure and we need to decrease it. Counterclockwise rotations, we'll get that screw flush. Again, once we do that, re-engage and make sure it's perfect. Flush indicates proper forward pressure. Next step is adjusting the AFD on the toe piece. So we're going to take our boot, engage it, and take a look to see if there's a space between the AFD and the sole of the boot. In this case, we do have a gap, which means it's too loose. So we're going to take something similar to the thickness of a business card, insert it underneath the toe piece in between the AFD. On top of the warden, there's a screw in the center, which allows you to adjust the toe height. Clockwise rotations is going to lower the toe height. We're going to do this until the card has some slight friction. Right here, we can pull the card out and insert it smoothly, which indicates proper AFD adjustment. The final step is adjusting the dins. So we're going to lift up the heel piece and take a look at the window. We find our din based off our height, weight, age, skier ability, and boot sole length. I come out to an eight and a half. So when we turn this screw in the back with the flathead screwdriver, clockwise will increase that din. We're going to twist this so we get to an eight and a half. The back's all set, now we're going to move to the toe piece. On the left side of the toe piece is the screw to adjust the dins for the front. So Phillips head screwdriver or flathead works in this case. We're going to go clockwise to increase the pressure to get it back to an eight and a half. Once that's done, your dins are set properly. Just make sure that your toe and your heel are always the same. And that is how you adjust your Solomon Warning Binding. We always recommend bringing it to a certified technician when possible. If you're looking for any other ski or snowboarder related content, check out theskimonster.com.